Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. Just the other day, Sidney had the brilliant idea of using the 200 suits of armor he bought in an epic picture. He plans to do something no small motion picture company has ever done before, make a super production. But right now we find Mama and her two daughters on their way to the studios. Hurry up, Ma. Gee, if you stop to look in every store window, we'll never get there. That's what I say. So you wanted to go theater. And so did you, Sarah. So we are walking. And if I'm stopping just a little bit to let my feet cool off, you're getting mad. But we're anxious to get to the studio. Yeah, yeah, so you're anxious to get to the studios. What for? They ain't started to make the picture yet. Your papa ain't sure if he's going to make it. Oh, he'll make it all right. Yeah, how do you know what's going on inside papa's head? Papa's head's like a tunnel. Both ends is open and a lot <laughs> goes on inside. But it's still dark and you can't see inside until you get in. <laughs> oh, you'll come around all right, Ma. Come around. Come around there. You got to go someplace. Oh, Sally meant that he'll agree to make the picture. Mm. So Sarah's a fortune teller, so she should know. Well, he's got to do something with the 200 suits of armor that Sidney bought. He's got to do something. Hmm. Sarah, Sidney is very lucky that Papa didn't do something he was thinking when he found out about the iron suit. Else maybe you would be our widow, a young <laughs> widow. <laughs> Oh, Pa's bark is a lot worse than his bite. Papa don't bark. Sometimes he talks very loud, but he don't bark. And he ain't never bit anybody. Well, I think the story the boys thought of is simply swell. Don't you, Yvette? And how? Marcia Villiers will be simply grand. Uh, look, Sarah and Jessa, there's an old saying. Before you are eating drumsticks, you shouldn't be counting eggs. Maybe the story's all right. Maybe Marcia Rabinovich is all right. Ma, Marcia Villiers. All right. All right, so she's Marcia Villiers. Not Rabinovitz, whose father owns a delicatessen. Oh, gee, Ma, you've got to learn to be quiet about those things. Yeah, yes, I know, I know. So I won't bring down this subject anymore. Hey, I'm getting tired. Oh, come on, Ma. Walking's good for you. Sure it is, Sarah, sure it is. <laughs> Twenty years ago, it was fine for me, but now I'm a little older and I get tired just a little quicker. Do you want I should start to giddy up like a horse? <laughs> All right, we'll slow down. That's good, yes, sir, that's good. Oh, I'm glad we're almost there. A fine car we got, so we walk. Well, the studio's just around the corner. Gee, I wonder if they'll let us watch them make the picture. Well, I don't see why not. After all, we're the family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're the family. So you are still the family back in New York. But did you ever go down to the knee pants factory to watch them make knee pants? Don't answer. I'll say no for you. Well, there's nothing romantic about making knee pants. Of course not. What's fun about watching people put together a pair of pants? So there's no fun that you should watch. Business ain't fun no matter what it is yet, darling. But it was fun enough for Papa to make enough money so you could go to school, so you could dress nice, so we could all eat. But it wasn't romantic, so it ain't good. Well, we didn't mean that, Ma, but, well, this is different. Business is business. Oh, I guess it's no use trying to convert you, Ma. What are you talking about? Why should I be what you said? Ain't I good enough? You're swell. All right. So it was the new pants business. But because it ain't in Hollywood, because it ain't romantic, like you said, then it ain't fun. Oh, Ma, what's the matter with you today? Today? Nothing that wasn't wrong with me yesterday or the day before. Say, you're not getting homesick for New York, are you? Getting homesick? That's foolish, Sarah. Why should I be getting homesick out here for New York? 
A home ain't just a city. A home is a family. Anybody can live in a house, Sarah. Anybody can go to sleep in a house and wake up in the morning and eat breakfast. But if you ain't got people that you like in the house, bitch, it ain't home. All right, so I got people out here that I love very much, so I'm home. Oh, same old ma. Yeah. Should I be changing like a cameo? Chameleon ma. All right, all right. Should I be changing like what you said? If you put our red handkerchief in a box in one room, should it be blue when you take it to another room? Well, I don't see what brought all this up. It wasn't brought up yet. I just started to talk about it. Well, here we are. I guess we go right in. Yeah. I always feel a little guilty about going in, though. They're, they're so strict about letting one, anyone on the lot who doesn't belong. Ah, that's foolish. Why shouldn't we belong? I am Mrs. Bloom, and these are my daughters, Sarah and Yetta. Ma. Okay, Mrs. Bloom. Go right on in. Thank you. Come on, girls. Ma, you shouldn't have called us Yetta and Sarah. No. What should I call you? Mutton Jiffy? Ain't you still yet and Sarah? Did you change already? If that means that there wasn't any need to introduce us to a gateman. Sarah, don't get top hat just because you're the boss's daughter. High hat, Ma. Pack up yeah. is what I meant. Oh, never mind. Here, we go in here. Here's Papa's coffee. Oh, you and Sally go ahead in, Ma. I'm going to look for Harold. Wait, I'll go with you a bit. I want to find Sydney. Uh, girls, don't bother the boys when they're working. If they are working. Don't worry, Ma. Come on, Sally. Coming. See you later, Ma. Yeah, yeah, see you later. Hello, Jake. Oh, her Mama. Come in, come in. Hmm. You busy, Papa? Uh, I don't know, Mama. I don't know. That's foolish. In the knee pants business, you always knew when you was busy. In the knee pants business, I know a lot of things that I don't know in the movie business. No, I don't even know when I'm busy. What you doing? What am I doing? <laughs> I'm writing a letter. That's nice. To who, Jake? I don't know. Sidney says I gotta write letters about the picture we're going to make. He says we gotta advertise it. Advertise it? Is it finished already, Jake? Mama, I will tell you something. It ain't even started. Oh, what a business. So you advertise something before it's even made. That's what Sidney said. Well, maybe he's right. Sidney is always right, even when he's wrong. Yeah, oh, Jake. I don't know about this business. So we're in the same boat, Mama. Neither do I. Yeah. Papa, why are you writing the letter yourself? Why? Who should write a letter, Mama? And you got a stenographer? A stenographer. Yeah, 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 I got one, Becky, but I don't trust her. Jake, and she honest? Honest? Sure, I guess she's honest. Then why shouldn't you be trusting her? Mama, listen. She don't write English, Mama. She don't write English? Mm -hmm. Jake, did she just come from the old country and get a job right away? I don't know, Mama. I don't know. But the other day, I'm asking her to write a letter. I'm telling her what to say, and she puts it all down in a little book. Mm -hmm. That's good, so she wouldn't forget it. Mama, you can't forget anything you don't know in the first place. After I told her what I wanted to write, I forgot something myself. Yeah. So, I'm taking a look in the little book. And boy, look, Mama. I got a page of it. Take a look yourself. Let's see. There ain't nothing on it, Jake. You are looking at what is on the paper, Mama. Jake, I know what I'm talking around. There ain't nothing on the paper but a lot of little doodles. I know it. And that's what she put down in the little book. Oi, the poor girl. Maybe she needed the voice, Jake. She just made out like she could write. Yeah. So that's why I'm writing this letter myself. Jake, you know, I want you shouldn't fire the girl. I didn't. <laughs> you know something, Mama? I, I wouldn't know how to say you're fired in the language she writes. That's good, that's good. Even you, Papa, shouldn't talk this kind of language. Now, Papa. Hmm? I want you should tell me something. All right, Mama, all right. What do you want to know? How's the picture going along? As I told you before, Mama, it ain't even started yet. I know that, Jake. It ain't started out in the studios yet. But in your head, maybe it's already finished. Mm, how could it be? Papa, a lot of things you got in your head because you're very smart. So when I say I want to know how the picture's going along, I want to know what you're thinking about it. Mama, couldn't you say all that in the first place? Oh, never mind that. So, Papa, tell me, yeah? Well, well, Becky, maybe I'm liking the idea. Maybe I think the boys are pretty smart to, uh, to think of something like that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's good, Papa, that's good. <laughs> what is it about? The picture? Yeah. I don't know, Mom. Then how do you know you're liking it? Because Sidney and Harold told me what it was going to be like. In one part, everybody wears the iron suits and rides the horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like the horror and jade. <laughs> yeah, just like the... Mama. Huh? Look, Becky. Sometimes I know what you're talking about, and sometimes I don't. But this time I will never know what you are talking about. Jake, never mind what I'm talking about. Always you're insulting me. I want you should tell me more about the picture. We will forget about the picture. Jake, it ain't made yet. How could you forget about it? Mama, what, what is the matter with you today, Mama? What's the matter with me? I don't know, Jake. Maybe I'm what the girl said. Maybe I'm homesick for New York. Homesick for New York? Mama, Mama, please don't, don't cry. I Mama, can't please. help it, Jake. Mama, tear, but... In New York, in the new pants business, it was very quiet. 
please, Mama. Please. Without here, it's all hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Even you, Papa, even you are going too fast for your age. For my age? Mama, please, don't, don't, don't say things like that. Uh, listen, Mama. <laughs> Becky, you, you want to go back to New York? Huh? Tell me, Becky, tell me, don't be afraid. That's foolish. How could I be going back to New York? When you're out here without business, you can't leave. No, I want to stay here. No, 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 good. No, you want to stay here, so you'll stay here. <laughs> now, listen, Mom, listen to me. I will tell you all about the picture. Then, when the people back in New York see it, they will say, that's Jacob Bloom, who used to run our knee pants factory. Yeah. And they'll talk about us, Mama, huh? They'll talk about yeah, all, all the people we know, huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> Won't that be nice? You're very lovely. But I ain't worried about whether people should talk about us and that I'm worried about you. About me? Yeah, Jake, I'm worried about you. Because out here in the movie business, there's so many more things that you get mad about. Mom, there are only two things I get mad about any place. Sydney and Harold. And if we go back to New York, we would have to take them with us anyway. Papa, I want you should promise me something. Anything, Becky. Anything. Anything so that you should be happy. Don't lose your temperature anymore, Papa. Temper, Mama, temper. All right, all right. I won't lose it. No matter what it is. What it is. You should get mad about that. Never mind, never mind. I'll, I'll try, Mama, I'll try. Hi there. You what have we got? Sarah, don't bust in the door like a jack from a box. But look, hi, isn't it wonderful? Stop waving it around so I could see it. What is it? Sydney and Harold were getting things lined up for the big picture. Almost everything is assigned. Assigned? Sure, Ma, look. Story by Harold Fink and Sydney Shiffin. Mm -hmm. And look, all the cameramen, producers, directors, and everything. No, 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 let me see it, let me see it. Yeah, yeah, all the names. See? But, Sarah, if I'm not asking too much, where is mine? Your what? My name, my name. I got a name, ain't I? Yeah, sure, you got a name. All right, then where is it on this? But, Paul, you don't get credit on the screen. You just own the company. 